a substrate with prismatic radiance. This is made of photonic crystals. When observed with an electron microscope, you can see holes that are arranged orderly. These holes are placed at intervals of about 0.4 nanometers, about half the size of the wavelength of light that passes through crystals. Photonic crystals are made from a silicon thin layer on silica. Using electron beam lithography and dry etching, the holes are created in an orderly arrangement. When the hole intervals are reduced to about a half size of the wavelength in silicon, light cannot enter the photonic crystals due to its wave property. In other words, the array of holes changes the silicon thin layer into a photonic insulator. A passage with photonic crystals placed at each side can limit the direction of light. This is the photonic crystal waveguide. It can precisely lead light even by a size that is smaller than the optical fiber. It is also possible to confine light by surrounding it in all directions. This is a device called a photonic crystal resonator which can accumulate light of a specific wavelength. By combining waveguides and a resonator, the resonant tunneling drop filter can be constructed. This device can extract light of a specific wavelength. When light of multiple wavelengths enters, the light which resonates with the resonator jumps into the resonator and exists from the output side of the waveguide. This enables a selection of light of a certain wavelength. A multi-channel drop filter integrated with resonant tunneling drop filters has already been created. Photonic LSIs having high device density are steadily being realized. In the near future, our technologies will create processors and computers capable of processing light by light.